You know James Dickey. He wrote Deliverance for Burt Reynolds because they played football together, though at different schools at different times. American football. But first he, Dickey, was a poet. Here's what he poeted for today. The hospital window and the heaven of animals. This is episode two of Love in a Time of Cholera. The Hospital Window I have just come down from my father. Higher and higher he lies above me in a blue light shed by a tinted window. I drop through six white floors and then step out onto the pavement. Still feeling my father ascend, I start to cross the firm street, my shoulder blade shining with all the glass the huge building can raise. Now I must turn around and face it, and know his one pain from the others. Each window possesses the sun as though it burned there on a wick. I wave like a man catching fire. All the deep-dyed window panes flash, and behind them all the white rooms. They turn to the color of heaven. Ceremoniously, gravely, and weakly, dozens of pale hands are waving back from inside their flames, yet one pure pain among these is the bright, erased blankness of nothing. I know that my father is there, in the shape of his death still living. The traffic increases around me, like a madness called down on my head. The horns blast at me like shotguns, and drivers lean out, driven crazy, but now my propped-up father lifts his arm out of stillness at last. The light from the window strikes me, and I turn as blue as a soul, as the moment when I was born. I am not afraid for my father. Look, he is grinning. He is not afraid for my life either, as the wild engines stand at my knees, shredding their gears and roaring, and I hold each car in its place, for miles, inciting its horn to blow down the walls of the world, that the dying may float without fear in the bold blue gaze of my father. Slowly I move to the sidewalk, with my pin-tingling hand half dead at the end of my bloodless arm. I carry it off in amazement, high, still higher, still waving, my recognized face fully mortal, yet not not at all, in the pale, drained, otherworldly, stricken, created hue of stained glass. I have just come down from my father. And what happens after death, for the animals, anyway, the heaven of animals? Here they are, the soft eyes open, If they have lived in a wood, it is a wood. If they have lived on plains, it is grass rolling under their feet forever. Having no souls, they have come anyway, beyond their knowing. Their instincts wholly bloom, and they rise, the soft eyes open. To match them, the landscape flowers outdoing, desperately outdoing, what is required, the richest wood, the deepest field. For some of these, it could not be the place it is without blood. These hunt, as they have done, but with claws and teeth grown perfect, more deadly than they can believe. They stalk more silently, and crouch on the limbs of trees, and their descent upon the bright backs of their prey may take years in a sovereign floating of joy. And those that are hunted know this as their life, their reward, to walk under such trees in full knowledge of what is in glory above them, and to feel no fear, but acceptance, compliance, fulfilling themselves without pain at the cycle's center. They tremble, they walk under the tree, they fall They are torn, they rise, they walk again. 
This has been Love in a Time of Cholera, Episode 2. <laughs>